Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is about the Neuschwanstein Castle which is known as the Castle of the Fairy Tale King, King Ludwig II of Bavaria. The castle's design is so unique that it is said to have inspired Walt Disney to build the Disney Castle. But before we get into today's video, to those who are new to this channel please feel free to click on the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so that you would be notified about the latest update. So without any delay let's get right into the video. King Ludwig II of Bavaria was also known as the Swan King or the Fairy Tale King, probably due to the romantic design of the castle, which is very reminiscent of many fairy tale castles from folklore. Inside the castle, the walls are covered with paintings depicting medieval legends, adding to its romantic atmosphere. As he was growing up, it seemed that Ludwig enjoyed dreaming about the world of legends, knights, and fair maidens, rather than living in the real world. When his father Maximilian II died suddenly in 1864, Ludwig reluctantly ascended to the throne. He was so overwhelmed by this change of fate that came much earlier than he expected. That three days later he wrote one word in his diary, filling the entire page. King. Since his father had made him keep specific accounts of the exact amounts of money he spent, Ludwig, now King Ludwig, decided that he would now spend as much money as he deemed necessary, attempting to erase what his father had taught him. Of course, his overindulgence and spendthrift habits did not go well with the people of the capital, but it was a different story in Bavaria. King Ludwig rarely made public appearances, which seemed to create opportunities for a lot of stories to circulate about what he was really like. However, most of these stories seemed to paint him in a favorable light, at least in the countryside where he was said to ride his horse across the fields and distribute expensive gifts to some of the subjects he encountered along the way. He decided to sponsor Wagner, whose operas were heavily inspired by the medieval world, which naturally made King Ludwig an ardent fan of his music. He even informed Wagner of his plans to build a new castle reminiscent of the castles built for ancient German knights. King Ludwig commissioned the painter Christian Jank to do the initial sketches of the castle, mixing between elements from medieval Germany, Moorish Spain, and the world of Wagner's works. The third floor particularly reflects Ludwig's admiration of Wagner's operas. The Singer's Hall, which occupies the entire fourth floor of Neuschwanstein also contains characters from Wagner's operas. Neuschwanstein literally means New Swan Castle referencing of the Swan Knight one of the Wagner's characters. Neuschwanstein is a castle of the paradox. It was built in the 19th century in Bavaria in a time when castles no longer had strategical and defensive purposes. While Neuschwanstein's look is that of a medieval castle, it was equipped inside with state-of-the-art technology at that time. The throne room is reminiscent of medieval throne rooms, with murals of legends and fairy tales covering the walls. Despite the existence of the throne room, it contained no throne and no audiences were held there for his subjects or courtiers. The castle had boiler rooms that fed the castle with warm air, as a cutting-edge heating mechanism, proving his preference for luxury even amidst the Middle Ages design. Among the other modern conveniences installed in the castle were the water closet, battery-operated bells, warm air heating, and a telephone, even though at the time few people had telephones. Additionally, the dining room was serviced by an elevator from the kitchen three stories below. The bedchamber of King Ludwig II featured the tragic love story of Tristan and Isolde on its walls. He made sure to add religious elements to the interior design as well. His wash basin resembled a baptismal font, and even the cup for his toothbrush resembled a communion chalice. He also ordered chandeliers with nickel plating and expensive furniture and sculptures. No guest rooms, a throne room without a throne, and a dining room for one. Ludwig's design for the castle was an attempt to transform a mythological and dreamlike world into architectural reality. He wanted to bring all his fairy tale fantasies to life in one way or another, to create a world that he could inhabit on his own, away from anything that could interfere with his preference for solitude.
Building the castle took more than 20 years. Although Louis expected the entire project to be completed within three years, only the gateway building was inhabitable by 1873. King Ludwig gained a reputation as Mad King Ludwig as all the debts which was accumulated for his extravagant building projects was very high. Neuschwanstein Castle was seen by many as overly extravagant, and that his focus on his architectural projects took him away from his actual duties. In 1886, a government commission had arrived from Munich to remove him from power on the basis of mental illness, but still unable to accept his fate, he took the men into custody. Two days later, he finally submitted and they took him to Berg Castle on Lake Starnberg, where he was placed under house arrest. Shortly after he was imprisoned, King Ludwig II, now 40 years of age, drowned in Lake Starnberg under mysterious circumstances. What has baffled many since then is the fact that the psychiatrist who had certified him insane drowned with him. What confused many people was that the king was a very good swimmer, so he could not have accidentally drowned. Many were also reluctant to accept that he might have given up on life after the shock of imprisonment. King Ludwig II had lived at Neuschwanstein Castle for less than a year before his untimely imprisonment and death. He never even got to see the castle after it was finished since some sections are still incomplete to this day. He used to stay in the gateway building when he'd visit to oversee the progress. A few weeks after King Ludwig II's death, the castle was open to visitors, drawing quite a lot of attention as a lot of people wanted to see the home of the Mad King. As the story goes, Walt Disney was on a vacation in Bavaria, Germany with his wife Lillian when they heard about Neuschwanstein. From the moment Walt laid eyes on the castle, he knew he had to bring parts of it home. He then reimagined them into the Magic Kingdom's iconic Cinderella Castle and Sleeping Beauty's Castle, the centerpiece of Disneyland Paris. It's not just the Disneys who were wooed by the wonder, the famous castle has also featured in other classic films like Chitty Chitty Bang Bang and The Great Escape. Okay guys, that is all for today's video. Hope you all enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell to receive the latest update from my channel. See you soon in another interesting video. Bye.